This is The Aura. I am Vanessa James. Here are the stories making headlines today. 13 illegal firearms, 10 of which are high-powered weapons, were seized in a multi-divisional operation in the gated community of Florence Hall in Trelawney. Reports are that a man was shot and killed during a confrontation with the police during the operation. No one was arrested in relation to the gun find. JFF General Secretary Dalton Wint has confirmed that three players and three officials from the Costa Rican team who played against the Reggae Boys at the National Stadium on Wednesday tested positive for COVID-19. Wint, however, was unable to confirm if any of the players had on-pitch time during the CONCACAF World Cup qualifier match. He went on to state that if it is confirmed that any of the COVID positive players were allowed to play in Wednesday's match, it would constitute a breach of game rules and that course of action could include a rematch, a fine or Jamaica being awarded the three points from the game. Several JLP supporters congregated on the grounds of the St. and Northeast Constituency Office on Thursday as they decried the poor representation of their parliamentarian, Marcia Smith. The placard bearing supporters said, since Smith won the 2020 general elections in succeeding the late Shahini Robinson, her presence has been lacking across the constituency. In several videos gone viral on social media, protesters can be seen stomping on green shirts bearing Smith's image. Detectives in St. James have charged 24-year-old Odin Jackson a suspected serial rapist who was busted in the parish last week. Jackson, who hails from the community of Norwood, has been charged with assault at common law, assaulting a female, two counts of rape, two counts of robbery with aggravation, and burglary. These charges laid against him are in relation to three separate cases. And in entertainment, Grammy-winning reggae artist Coffee has announced that her debut album, Gifted, will be released on March 25. According to reports, Gifted is slated to have 10 tracks, including her infectious 2020 hit, Lockdown. It is also slated to include the recently released single, Where I'm From, as well as her newest track, Pull Up. Coffee won the Grammy Award for Best Reggae Album back in 2020 for her six track EP, Rapture. This has been The Aura. Catch up with these and other stories on jamaicaobserver.com. Mm -hmm.